Before beginning this lesson, go into your exercise folder and you'll find an image that begins with 201. Go ahead and open that one up. What I want to do here is a combination of two things. A little bit of dodging, we've already talked about that, but also a little bit of burning. I want to kind of equalize out the image and not have such a dark area on either side. So this is post-production, obviously. So let's start by making a copy. Control J or Command J on a Mac, Control J in Windows to make a copy. Don't forget, this is destructive editing. Number two, let's come over here and let's pick up our Dodge tool. Let's start with Lightning. So I'm going to choose exposure of about 10 or somewhere around there. Actually, less than that. I'm going to go about, oh, maybe about 8. I don't mind taking my time and rubbing over an area more than once if it gives me the control that I want. Sometimes I do want it higher. Most of the time I like the control. So we come over here. Let me pick up my tablet here, my drawing tool of choice. And let's make a bigger brush with the right bracket key. All right, so we're going to start right about here. And let's just go ahead and start lightening those areas up. Now we did choose also for our range, the midtones. So you'll notice it is lightening these areas up. But some of the darker areas, it isn't. That's because they're so dark, it falls outside the range, in a sense, of midtones. And so it's doing more work up here than it is down here. I'm going to change that in a second. Now, don't forget, anytime you want to check it out, click here. And we've already done some lightning. Let's change uh, midtones to shadows. Leave the exposure at about 8. I'm going to come over here again. And this will get a little bit more aggressive in these areas. Don't forget, if you go too far with it, what you're going to wind up doing is flattening the image out. So you want to be careful. I guess the good news is, is even though this is, by definition, destructive editing, we are doing it in a separate layer. And if you really didn't like it, you could always throw that away and start again, so no problem. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's better. What I want to do now is darken up just a little bit in the middle where she is, and that will help draw attention to the guy on the bike. So let's go ahead and go into our burn tool. Now burn and dodge have the exact same options. The only difference is in burning, you darken, in dodging, you lighten. So I'm going to knock my exposure way down here. Go about seven or eight, somewhere around there. Turn on my tools for my drawing tablet. Keep the range in the midtones. Come over here, bigger brush, right bracket key. I love those shortcuts. You guys got to use shortcuts. It can save you so much time. And we're going to get right about here and just darken that area up just a little to help blend it in more with the side over here. And again, you don't want to go too far. I have a tendency all the time to go too far, but that's all right. Okay, let's see what we got. See, that's quite a difference. That is quite a difference between the before and the after. And what it's done is it's equalized the image out. Now, to be honest with you, I do like it better the other way. It really creates a focus. But I wanted to demonstrate how even if you had areas that were subsequently dark and light, you could actually perform both operations on one image and begin to equalize those areas out. And most of the time with an image such as this one, you would more than likely be working primarily with midtones with very low exposures.